who was in the building, you know, road trips, everybody. I mean, shoot, obviously, <laughs> it's funny. I got verified on my Twitter with only a thousand followers. So. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't, I don't like doing all that extra stuff, the social media. But I mean, um, I feel great. I'm proud of myself. You know, I'm proud of my team. You know, I, I love my team. You know, Journey with Management, TGB, my coaches, the broke team, man, man. Hopefully, we get some more paychecks now. <laughs> Definitely, definitely. I, I I feel like he's getting away right now. <laughs> like, like you know, he's like uh, looking good, boy. Like you know, sharp. Got the hair still spiky, still looking good. I mean, we used to always just joke around like that. I mean, yeah. Um, I feel like it would have been a lot better to have him here. Right. I give anything to have him to be a part of this. And um, this fight was best for him. And, and, and one other question. Yeah. So do, again, do you feel like if the fight was in another city that he would have won tonight? It would have been a fair shake. Um, obviously, I'm a little, I mean, this is, how many times has he fought here, you know? I mean, I'm sure, like, hey, yo, come in, yo, do this, or do like, you know? I mean, like, it just, I knew what I was coming into, but, I mean, obviously, I walked out with something. I was expecting a draw, but, I mean, I knew, I, I felt like I worked him. I felt like I, I, I made him a call. I, I did it my way. Like like George said, the first and I saw we did I did it my way. Like, I mean, I was boxing when I wanted to. I was clowning him. I was, you know, like, caught him with some good jazz, caught him with some good straight punch. I showed I could box and I could bang, you know, and uh, once I made an ugly fight, he was dying down and uh, I was working. It, it's just those shots that you don't really see on the TV, you know, the little knives under and little uppercuts and obviously I, I got the crowd against me, so you don't hear when he's like, you see his head bobbing up, uh, uh, like, and I pop, 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 pop. You hear my, I hear my cousin and my family and my pops and stuff, but I mean, yeah, it was a, it was a pro. I mean, hey, this is his hometown, man. He is Cincinnati and uh, he, He's repping it better now. I'm happy. I'm happy. You know, he's growing up and uh, becoming a man. Cause I mean, he is a good man. I, like I said, I know him as a real dude, and I, like this is a lot more like it. All right, thank you. So Jay? You sparred. You sparred a few years ago for the Maidana fight. Did yeah. you notice any improvements or any regressions from back then, those sparring sessions to now in the bright lights? No, I actually I noticed some. So, uh, he he. I felt like he did what he had to do to make it more competitive. Uh, I think he made some good adjustments. He, I think he, he looked he looked, he looked good today, and I think I brought like he said I brought the best out in him. But uh, yeah, I, I still feel like I won, and uh, I'm like I think I I heard like Pauly say you know everybody that I got my losses to never I never got a rematch. Like can somebody step up, give me something, you know like bring it. <laughs> uh, in all five of your losses and your two draws, it's always been split decision and majority decision. What do you think the judges are missing in your fighting style? Mm, nothing in my fight style. It's just like, hey man, we could just have him another loss and then we could just keep this guy going. You know, like I guess I'm only trying to make another Mickey Ward or I took like just a there you make, go. yeah another Mickey Ward or another Orlando Solito or something. They're just trying to really set like bash up my record, but it's okay as long as I don't get to that fifty fifty mark. I guess, <laughs> but no, it's all jokes. Like I know I know I belong at this level. Um, I mean, I'll. I thought he was going to be a professional and fight me at 140, and then 142 I was fine with, and then three weeks ago at 147, and like, and it was a take it or leave it thing, like it's like, and then out of all things, the most uh, Mary Mom is waiting, like uh, for real, like that guy out of all guys that's you gonna give it to, like, but um, I don't know, I uh, I am appreciative for the opportunity. I I, I want to thank Adrian Broder for for this opportunity. Uh, th thank my team, uh, Journeyman Management, TGB, Al Heyman as well, Showtime. Uh, it was exciting to show the world that, hey, I belong on the stage, and uh, please feel free to give me anybody else. Uh, Did you think you were going to have trouble winning a decision here? I knew I was going to have trouble uh, winning a decision here. Did you That's have why to? after the fight, I'm like, ah, we made it to the end. And I was still confident. I'm like, I know I beat him. You know, I, like, I know I beat him, but I'm like, I know they ain't going to give it to me. Like, I know they ain't. But then, like, when they gave me that, and they gave it by a decent mar margin, I'm like, okay, thank you. I know I won this fight. And I'm like, the last one, and I'm like, I feel it. I got this, and then it was him. I'm like, ah. oh, well. Knowing that coming in, did you feel the need to change your style at all, or change, be more aggressive, or or do anything else? Like you had to knock him out, or knock him down, or rough him up. Yeah, yeah. To no, win I, that. I feel like I did. Um, I'll give him that. He uh, he showed he showed some good defense. He did show some good defense. He made me miss a couple times, so I I started getting more focused on the body and up the middle. I mean, I think I showed some great skills too. I caught him with some good shots up the middle. When I started, you know, hey, I showed I could box too. Had good footwork. He was having trouble, you know, keeping up. Like I said, I did it my way. When, we, when I wanted to box,
box that box when I wanted to bang, I wanted to bang. That's weak general shit right there. How much of a difference do you think the weight made? Like, if the fight did take place at 142, do you think it would end up a fight? Yeah, definitely, because I know he can't, he couldn't hurt me. I know I'm a stronger man, I know I'm a bigger man. Um, I think he, like I, I told everybody from the get-go, I think he moved the weight up so he can absorb more punishment. Okay, physically, how did those five pounds feel for you? Uh, it made me a little sluggish just because of the time that they threw it off. Like, I was already set for 142. I was at like 150, 152, right. like when they caught, I'm like, I'm like already at weight. I'm like, ah, oh, let, let me go eat some fast food. <laughs> uh, given your track record, you think you'll get a rematch? No, no, they don't. They don't. They don't want. They don't want this work. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's um, the kid put on a hell of a performance here in this guy's hometown. You're talking about. Uh, Four times. Well, how many? Well, I forgot how many times. I mean, like you're that. fighting. You're fighting him in his backyard. Everything was, you know, set by design. I wish we would have got the twelve rounds instead of the ten. Two more rounds, I would. I know. Uh, I would have stopped. But again, you know, Adrian Broner got away, and that's what he wanted to do. And I knew Adrian was going to throw caution to the, to the wind, because I, like he always says, you know, he's fighting these guys in their backyards or. At the time, he was fighting a lot of those guys that he's got draws with. He was fighting guys that were being promoted by big promoters, and they were the favorites. So when you're going into somebody's backyard, you got to bring the dog out of you. You know, I knew we needed to basically knock him out or destroy him here in Cincinnati. It's very difficult, but let's give Adrian Broner some credit. He, you know, he got up for it. He did train for this fight. You know, he, he, you know, even though, he, you know, I mean, he's a four or five time world champion. He wanted to fight at 147 four times. He wanted it at, uh, uh, at 47. I mean, uh, he changed the thing with the 12 rounds to a 10 rounder. I mean, you know, but he gave us an opportunity. So I'm very grateful that he did. So, I mean, if the fight would have been in Chicago, I think we would have pulled it off, you know? Um, but again, Adrian Burner is a great champion. Uh, Adrian Bernardo demonstrated that he belongs at this level. And uh, the kid did it his way. You know, I mean, he threw caution to the win and went toe to toe with Adrian Broner. Now, if you think that was not a great fight, I don't know what's going to take to sell. I mean, I know uh, the sponsors and the commercials should mm, get some mileage out of it because he, this is a fight. This is a, uh, it's a classic. It's a good fight that. Adrian Broner will not forget. He'll, he'll always remember uh, um, Adrian Granado. Now, if he wants to make it again, we would love to take this opportunity. <laughs> Here's the manager right here. Even if he doesn't want to come to Chicago, which I know he's scared to because he don't know where he want to come to Chicago. But neutral side. Yeah, because that's hey, neutral side. We can do it in the west side of Chicago. West, we, can, we, can, we, can have, we can have the game makers make a truce. Yeah, yeah. Stop the killing. Stop, Stop the violence. That's all. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. 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 Right up here, like yeah, definitely please stop the violence in Chicago. Like it's bad when you they talk about feds coming to your city. Like that's that's really bad. But no, yeah, definitely I want I want the rematch. I know he don't want to give it to me, um, but I'll fight him anywhere. Uh, yeah, come on, bro. Like, let, let's do some, let's do, do Vegas. Uh, let's do let's do Texas. Let's do LA. Let's do New York. Let's do wherever, man. Let's, let's go. Let's go to Mexico. Let's go to Mexico. Vamos. <laughs> you come on, man. You, you can do all the. <laughs> All the Mexican jokes out there if you want. <laughs> George, um, given the, uh, the circumstances you just mentioned and the fact that it was a close fight, was there any sense of urgency in the corner in the later round? No, I knew Adrian was going <coughs> to do what he was going to do because he has this tendency that when he's in somebody's backyard, he knows he needs a knockout, so I knew he was going to go to for the knockout. He was going to try desperately to get it. I mean, I don't know what else he could have done. I mean, uh, you're talking about a guy that's very clever in there, Nathan Porter. So let's give him a lot of credit for preventing himself from uh, uh, the dismay that he would have faced if Adrian Broner, if Adrian Bernardo would have beaten him here in his backyard, which we were all hoping for. I mean, I would have been happy with a draw. It was a great, entertaining fight. And, um, you know, uh, it, it was, I, I thank Adrian Bonner for the opportunity that he gave this young kid to prove to all these pundits that he does belong in this type of level. And we'll go back and work hard. Maybe something else will come up, and maybe we'll get another chance at him. 
I mean, remember Joe Frazier and Ali, the trilogy there was great for boxing. I mean, fights like this is what keeps boxing fans in their seats, you know? I mean, I don't think anybody switched the channel, you know, I mean, everybody was watching, hoping for the, I mean, I was in there waiting for that thing, so I think it was great for boxing. It's a great fight. Adrian, uh, Last one. I just noted to myself that it seemed like very early on in the first, you dropped your hands and were kind of leading uh, with your chin a lot, very high. Uh, did you do that because you noticed that the jab wasn't going to work for, uh, for AB? Uh, yeah, and I was kind of like, uh, I was uh, taunting him. I wanted him to let go of the corner right there, set up on the team. That's why I was making him miss a lot, you know, and uh, I know he would catch me and stuff, but no, he didn't hurt nobody. Like he wasn't hurting me at all. Uh, but even with the crisp shots, I was like, like no, nah, like he didn't have nothing on it. Uh, I expected a stronger Adrian Broner, like with eight ounce gloves, but I just didn't feel it. You plan to stay at uh, 140 or? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 140. Yeah, 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 that's what he said. Yeah, stay at 140. That's what he said. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was the question. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna go back down. Um, I, I know that. You know, I know that's where I'm ranked. I, I want to get to a mandatory. You know, obviously I had no choice. I mean, money gotta get paid, man. I'm tired of you know. Tired of being broke. Tired of being the broke team, man. We need. We, we got some. St- we got bills to pay too. Shit. Well, if, the, if the rematch doesn't come to fruition, then uh, who would you look forward to? Who would you look forward to at 140? Anybody at 140. Um, by the way, too, just one personal little. Uh, Somebody tried to get tough on me on Twitter. Uh, let's get Omar Figueroa out of the, off the couch or wherever he's at. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'll, I'll, you know, let's go. Uh, uh, could y'all imagine an Omar Figueroa and Adrian Granados fight? That'd be fun. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> and, and, and hey, yeah, Omar, I'll say it right now. Like, I don't do the Twitter fingers, bitch. Like, <laughs> I don't do all that. I, I listen to like how you talk on there. Like, you're a bitch, bro. <laughs> I used to be a fan, but you try to come at me, like, come on, man, all right. But uh, no, 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 yeah, I'm gonna be back and I'll fight anybody, and then, uh, yeah, 140, I, I do wanna fight any of those champions. Um, I'll take any of them on, I know I'm better than any of them. I know I, 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 I'm going to become a world champion, and I won't stop until I become a world champion, and I'm gonna defend belts, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move, move back up to 147, I'll probably get even to 54. I know, I mean, you guys seen how much bigger I was than Adrian, like a lot of people were surprised at the way in and stuff, like, oh, Oh yeah, I'm, I'm not that little. <laughs> Thanks, Adrian. All right, yeah.